Hi, welcome to the channel. I'm Mr. Jeff, and today we've got a $20 Raging Ray Red deck tech for you. Okay, so if you don't know how this works, uh, all the old boys get a deck tech to do. So Mr. Aid has an unlimited budget, and he builds a deck with as many legendaries and things as he can stuff in. Mr. Dutton then has to make that same deck work in the same way, but he's only got half the budget. So he's got to do it in uh, a much more uh, accessible way. And then they give me $20 and go, all right, Clarky, bim off and do what you can with that. So if you like the idea of that, if you think that's a good idea, hit like, hit subscribe, join us. I will link below to Mr. Aid's full deck uh, and his deck tech, and I will link below to Mr. Dutton's full deck tech as well. But to get started, we're going to go through what Adrian's got, and then we're going to see what we can keep and what's got to come out. So here is Mr. Aid's Raging Ray deck. Uh, this comes in at $220, I believe, when you put it together. Uh, so we're going to have a little look through this, see what we like, what we want to keep, and what we can keep, which is not always the same. So Leader and base obviously going to stay the same. So we've got Ray, action, pay one, uh, tap, give an experience token to a unit with two or less power. And uh, once she's deployed, she'll do that when she attacks. She also has to restore three when she attacks. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. What's Mr. Aid put in? Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, two copies of Luke Skywalker, legendary. No, not a chance. Straight over budget with that. Luke, you're out. Uh, Wrecker, so six for a seven, six with Overwhelm. Uh, when played, you may defeat a friendly resource if you do deal five damage to a Grange unit. Wrecker is brilliant, which means he's also a bit spawny because he's rare. So I, I don't think Wrecker's going to stay in. He's going to have to come out, which is a shame because he's awesome. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, three copies of. So it's six for four, six with Sentinel. When defeated, give two experience tokens to another friendly unit. If it's a force unit, draw a card. Obi-Wan Kenobi is rare, but he's not that expensive because he's in the starter deck. So um, I'll try and keep Obi-Wan Kenobi in, um, at, at least a couple of those. K2SO, rare, four for a four, 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 four. Uh, with Overwhelm, he's brilliant, but he's also, he's a bit expensive. Um and I'd love to keep him in, but I don't. I don't think I can. I think he's going to have to come out. Uh, take down, which is uncommon, brilliant. So four defeat a unit with five or less remaining HP. Absolutely brilliant for getting rid of uh, lots of stuff. Doesn't say non leader unit, so we like that. Yep, that's definitely going to stay in. Vigilance, one of Mister Aid's personal favorite um, cards. Uh, it is a legendary, which means. It's not going to be in there because it's just it's too expensive. So that's coming out. Right. Forces with me. Uncommon. So four, choose a friendly unit. Give two experience tokens to it. If you control a force unit, give a shield token to the chosen unit. Now, that's pretty good because there's, there's plenty of force units in here. Um, and we'll, we'll keep as much as, as we can. Obviously, Luke's got to come out. But. We'll, we'll look at keeping that in. Whether we still keep three copies, I don't know, but we'll look at keeping that in. Um, Kanan Jarrus, four for a four, five. Check that. Look, Force, Jedi, Rebel, Spectre. Oh, mate, he's fantastic. Um, and he's only uncommon. On attack, you may discard one card from the defending player's deck uh, for each friendly Spectre unit. So that's at least one because you got him. Um, and you heal one damage from your base for each different aspect uh, among the discarded cards. So it's basically, it's a, it's a every time you attack, you get a restore one by default, don't you? So that's great. Two of those, keep that. Brilliant. Cassian Andor, we like Cassian Andor. So three for three, five, good stats. You can smuggle him out, which is great. And if you do smuggle him out, uh, you can ready the unit. Uncommon, three copies. Yep, we're going to see what we can do with that. We like that one. Uh, Concord Dawn Interceptors, a personal favourite of both Mr. Jeff D and Mr. Aid. I wasn't 100% convinced when it came out, but I, I, having played it, I really I love this card now. I think it's really, really useful. So three for a 1-4. Now you're like, mm, 
certainly got one. That's not very good. But it's a Sentinel, and it gets uh, plus two, plus naught when defending. So basically, you just you can just drop this and leave it to, to look after space for you. Three copies, uncommon. Yeah, yeah, can't see a problem with that. Uh, open fire. Three, deal four damage to a unit. Love it. Love a bit of direct damage. Common card. Yeah, we'll have that. Thank you very much. Uh, red three. Okay, so three for a two, three with raid one. Uh, and each friendly um, heroism unit gains raid one. That's really useful, which is why it's quite an expensive rare. He's got two of those. I Straight away, I think that's going to come out. Um, and we're going to have to find something else that's useful in space to replace that one. Jedi lightsaber. Brilliant. Three for a three, three. Yeah, attached to a non-vehicle unit. Uh, if it's attached to a force unit, it gains on attack. Give the defender minus two, minus two for this phase. All of that, brilliant, and works really well with force units, which we've got plenty of. Unfortunately, because it's rare and because it is very good at what it does, I think I'm going to swap that out for um, Luke's lightsaber to to bring the cost down. Um, we'll we'll have a look and see what the what the total damage is on the on the cost when I finish. But really. Yeah, that's that's the ideal lightsaber to put in, but I, I just think from a cost point of view, we're going to have to swap that out. Right, next up, Yoda. Three for a two, four. He's got restore two. Lovely. When defeated, choose any number of players. They each draw a card. Well, you're not going to give cards to your opponent, are you? So it's going to be for you while you put player versus player. Three copies, uncommon. Uh, yeah, we like that. We'll work to keep three of them in. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. It, 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 should, it should be okay. Yeah, we should work, be able to work that one. Sabine Wren. So two for a two three. Uh, we love a bit of Sabine. So Mandalorian, Rebel, and Spectre. Oh, there's handy. Another Spectre card. Look. Uh, we like Sabine. Uncommon. Uh, was at least three as aspects among other friendly units. This unit can't be attacked unless it gains Sentinel. Uh, an attack you may do one damage to the defender or to a base. So that's that's very much going to stay in. Green Squadron A-Wing, a, a favourite of all of the old boys. Two for one, three, but it's got Raid 2. It is a Rebel. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. No problem with that. Common card, brilliant. Guardian of the Will, so two for a 2-2. Two, two. Force, we like that. Uh, the first upgrade you play on this unit, each round costs one less. Okay, we like that. So that's going to stay in. We've only got a couple of those. Uh, restored Arc 170, so that's two for a 2-3. Again, another Rebel card. Restore 1, okay, common. Yep, that's probably going to stay in. Mystic Reflection, right, so pay 1. Give an enemy unit minus 2, minus 0 for this phase. If you control a force unit, give an enemy unit minus 2, minus 2 for this phase. So that is in there to basically very cheaply try and take some, some units out. Um, I'm not 100% convinced on... That one, we'll we'll come back to that and we'll have a look and see what I end up with in, in the end. Force throw. So for one, choose a player. That player discards a card from the hand. Then if you control a force unit, you may deal damage to a unit equal to the cost of the discarded card. Mist Aid loves force throw. Three copies. We've still got plenty of force units, even once you take Luke out. Yep, we'll, uh, we'll look at keeping keeping that in. And uh, Spec 4 Soldier, so 1 for a 2-2, two, two, like that. When played, a uh, unit loses Sentinel for this phase. So this really, three copies of that, that's your turn one card, isn't it? That's what you want. You want to be paying one to put that down, one to use Ray's ability, and all of a sudden you've got a 3-3 three, three in turn one. Lovely. It's lovely month. So that's what Mr. Aid came up with. I say it was about $220 I think he spent. Let's see what we end up with once I've pulled out the legendaries and had a bit of a shuffle round. So here's what I've come up with uh, based on what Adrian was using. So a few changes. I've, I've kept as much of it as, as I can, really. Um, but let, let's go through and see what we've put in. So a couple of copies of Rivals Fall. That, if you're playing Vigilance, I really think it should have at the very least been your sideboard. You will notice no sideboard here, and I didn't put aid sideboard in either. Um, we're only building a $20 deck. It's it's just for fun. 
we're not really worried about a sideboard uh, for for this one. But Rivals Four, absolutely great. That is there to get rid of a leader, really. You know, I mean, if they they build something with loads and loads of um, upgrades on it, and it becomes monstrous. It's also useful. But if you're playing Vigilance, you really want to copy Rivals Fall in there. Cargo Juggernaut, love a bit of Cargo Juggernaut. Uh, so it's expensive, right? But it is a four six, and it does come out shielded. And when played, if you control another Vigilance unit, heal four damage from your base. Plenty of Vigilance units on here, so that's why that's in there. Obi Wan Kenobi, yeah, kept a couple of those. That's great. Keeps it well within budget, and he's such a great card. Right. Rose Tycho. So a couple of copies of this. So four for a two six. Comes in shielded. Uh, on attack, you may defeat a shield token on a friendly unit if you do give two experience tokens to that unit. So you can actually play her out shielded. You can use Ray's ability to bring her up to a three seven, and then you can ping uh, on attack. You can ping the shield off. And she attacks for five. So that's why Rose is in there. Let's see how we do with that. We took the red three out. I said we needed something in space. I've gone for Razor Quest from the uh, from the, the starter set because it's a, it's a really great card. So four for a three, four, uh, and it's got Restore two. When played, you may return an upgrade from your discard pile to your hand. That's not incredibly important. It's stats and it's restored to really, really great. So take down, defeat a unit with five or less remaining HP. That will work on a leader as well. So again, that's for getting rid of um, troublesome units. Baze Melbus, absolutely great. So we've got Vigilance, four for a two, five with grit. We like a bit of grit. Uh, and while you have the initiative, gain Sentinel. All round, that's just a really useful card, and it's uncommon. So I've put a couple of those in. Forces with me. Yeah, I've kept a couple of those. Got plenty of um, force units, so we'll keep that. Uh, Kanan, yep. Love Kanan. Cassian, yep. Village Protectors. So three for a 2-2 two -two with Sentinel and Shield. Just, just really useful for slowing your opponent down. And once again, Ray can pump that straight up. Concord Dawn Interceptors, yeah, we like that. Open Fire, we like that. Yoda, got a couple of Yodas in there, which is good. Right, Arm to the Teeth. So two, you get plus two, plus naught, right? So two for two more damage. That's good. We like that. Attached unit gains on attack give another friendly unit plus two, plus naught for this phase. That's brilliant. So for two, technically, you could get four damage. We like that. You know, we like, we like that. And that's assuming you only attack with a couple of units once. Um... Plenty of mileage in that one, like that. Sabine, two copies, thanks. Uh, Green Squadron A-Ring, three copies, thanks. Guardian of the World, yes. Uh, Luke's lightsaber, so I've just swapped the lightsaber around. So it's plus three, plus one. Oh, yeah, plus three, plus naught. Going mad. Yeah, plus three, plus one. Um, and again, if it's attached to Luke Skywalker, heal all damage, which would be great if we had Luke Skywalker. But we don't. Let's not worry about that. Let's just look at the fact that for two, we get a plus three and a plus one. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Uh, restored arc 170 keeping that force throw yep keeping that i've also dropped in infiltrator skill couple of so uh cost one plus one plus one all right that makes sense but you also gain saboteur so if they're if they're popping out sentinels to try and slow you down this is this is brilliant and remember saboteur also goes under shields so couple of copies of that. It's not essential. It's just very, very useful. It fits with what we're doing with this deck. Uh, and as a uh, spec force soldier. So there you go. That's what I've put together. That, I think, is a nice collection of very useful uh, cards with great synergy. How much did I spend? I've only got a $20 budget. What did I come to? Ta-da! Deck price, uh, $11.23 on TCG Player as it was put together. TCG Player prices do vary wildly sometimes. So if you're looking at this and thinking, hang on, he's got another $10 there. You're right, I have got another $10, which means we could have a Wrecker or a K2SO or maybe one of the um, Red 3s going in. 
I've actually left them out and I'm going to play this deck as is. So you've got a little bit of wriggle room. If you're putting it together yourself, maybe you want to swap up um, a lightsaber or two. Let's see. Let's see what, what you want to do with it. Let's see how you want to play it. But for me, I've put this together. I'm happy with it. It comes in under $12, which is brilliant. Um, I was just over on the last challenge by about two, two bucks. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's go force table. Test it out and see how we get on against a couple of the Gen Con winning decks, shall we? So here we are on Force Table. We've got our Raging Ray mini deck, uh, and we're going to run it up against something else that's, that's quite quick. This is um, uh, the Sabrine uh, Gen Con deck. You would expect $20 worth of deck or $12 worth of deck to be playing against the starters if, if you're playing for fun. We're going to test it against something just a little bit meatier. Yes, I know Force Table is not 100% factually accurate, but uh, it does look nice and it gives you a good idea of uh, how, the, how the decks work. So everything's set on default, best moves for the given board state. Let's play. Okay, so do I have a turn one? I can drop Sabine turn one. Do I have a turn two? I probably do. So actually, I'm not going to take a mulligan. Right, two cards to resource. I'm going to drop that one. And I'm going to lose an Obi-Wan because he's a way off being used. Useful yet because he's six cost, but I do want to keep hold of that. Let's play a card, and let's put Sabine in. And a pingy ping. Okay, we'll have the initiative. Thank you very much. And it comes later. Right, so on to the teeth, so I can put... Yeah, so I can actually use that, power that up, and still put that on. Yeah, or... Drop a Yoda. Ooh. What to do? What to do? Right, Rose, you're going because I don't need you at the moment. I think I'm going to use Ray's action ability because we want to use her ability. Let's make Sabine tougher. Okay. Then let's play a card and let's put that on there. Millennium Falcon. Ah, grr, arg. Okay. Uh, on a track. Trigger, yes. Give a friendly unit plus two. No, because I haven't got any friendly units, so that's that. Isn't it? There you go. That's fine. He's going to attack with that, and I'm going to take the initiative. Thank you very much. Ping, ping. All right, not bad. Fairly, fairly reasonably balanced at the moment, do you think? Okay. So I'm. So what do I want to put down? I'm going to have four. So I can do that and make it stronger. Yes. Let's. Uh, let's. Oh, open fire does four damage to you, though, doesn't it? No. Okay, I'm going I'm to drop Yoda. Are you sure, Jeffy? Or do you want to put that out? If I put that out and then ray it, mm, it won't get rid of the Millennium Falcon in one go, though, will it? That will. Do you know what? I think I'm just going to kill the Falcon, but then I've got one to put something down, and I can't put something down for one. I'm going to let I'm going to let the Falcon keep piling into me because we've got we've got restore coming, so. I'm going to lose my Sentinel card. Oh, that comes out shielded, though, doesn't it? Oh, that's very useful, that is. But then he's got Restore. Oh, that's even more useful, that is. Yeah, go on, let's drop that. Let's drop that. Okay, first things first. Uh, I'm going to attack. Before they can get any Sentinels or anything in, let's just pile into that base and get some damage done. On attack, trigger, ding! Friendly, no, haven't got one. Hopefully, we'll do next time. That'd be nice. Ah, there you go. All right. So, 
I'm going to I'm going to right. Let's play a card. Let's yoder it up. Yep. Attack with the falcon. That's fine. I'm going to use raise action ability to do that. One and one. I'm going to take the initiative. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, out comes Sabine. Osh. Right. Force throw. So choose a player that plays a card's card in the hand. If you control a force unit, you may deal damage to a unit equal to the cost of this guardy card. Shall we do that? Should we ever go with that? Right, I'm going to put that in as a resource. Should we do that first? Um, or shall I just pile Sabine into Sabine? Oh, there's comedy. Let's do that. Let's, let's attack Sabine with Sabine. On attack trigger. Uh, I can... What am I going to do? I'm going to do five damage to it so I can do that to the base. One there. Uh, yep. I'll give that to that one. Thank you very much. So Sabine's gone. I'm still hanging around. Yoda's got plus two. So I can now attack with Yoda. Restore two. Thank you very much. Well, that was a bit harsh, wasn't it? Um, I'm going to... Do I just want to get rid of the Falcon? Yeah, go on. In fact, right, let's play a card first. Let's do Force Throw. Uh, which player target force? I will target my opponent, I think. Two. I should do two damage to that one. Shame it wasn't a little bit bigger, but let's not worry about that right now. Oh, he's got plus two, plus two. You rotter. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what then. Let's just have rid. That's fine. Uh, still got one. Can't do anything else. Uh, actually, I can't bring... I need six to bring that out. Uh, okay, let's just pass. Right. I'm going to resource that. Oh, dear. That's going to be a bit nasty. I thought so. Right. 24, mm. right. All right, we'll stop him attacking anything. Thank you very much. Okay. Time for Yoda to do some Yodering. Let's have a bit of restore. Thank you very much. That's great. And out comes that bad boy. Well... I think you're in trouble, Sunshine. Um, let us... Action ability. Put that on there. Here comes R2-D2. Hi, R2. Uh, and then I'm going to bring out Ray. And then I'm going to attack with Ray into the base. And I'm going to restore three. And then I'm going to give an extra to that one. And I think, I think, don't want to jinx it. I think we've got this pretty much sewn up here, kids. You know what I mean? I'm going to drop one of them. Okay, right. What are you going to do, Sabine? K2SO. Well, he's big, he's bad, and he's dangerous. But, I think, ladies and gentlemen, props go to Ray. We get to restore three off the base. I get to put an experience token on that. And there we go. And that was without K2SOs, without red threes. Um, with, I didn't even see a lightsaber. Crikey. That... I think that's a pretty fair test, wouldn't you? 
that's pretty good. Um, let's try it against a different deck. So we did well against the Sabine Gen Con deck. Um, here's, here's another Gen Con winner. So this is the Mono Han. Uh, went 7-0. and Let's see how Ray gets on against that because it's it's a really it's a good deck to play against. Random start, we get the initiative. Well, that's nice. Okay, have we got a turn one? No, we don't. We've barely got a turn two. Do you know what? I'm I don't like to, but I'm going to Mulligan. Have we got a turn one? We still haven't got a turn one. Oh, that's just brilliant. Okay, fine. I'm going to put that down because uh, I can smuggle it out. And I'm going to put that down because I've got two of them. Thanks very much. Right. Nothing I can play. Take the initiative. I'm not loving this game so far, I have to say. Right, Rivals 4 got two of those, so I can drop one of those. That's fine. Space Cartel. Right, so that gets plus two. I think the first thing I'm going to need to do is drop that out. Yikes. If it wasn't for the fact this deck has restore, I'd be absolutely filling my breeches at the moment. Can't do anything else. Take the initiative. Is he going? He's going to pile into me. Well, didn't end well for you, did it, Sunshine? And I'll execute the bounty. Thank you very much. Oh, there you are. Where were you earlier? Do you know what I mean? Have a word, Sunshine. Right. Let's drop the juggernaut because it's humongous and well away from being used. So I'm going to, he can bring the Falcon out and attack straight away, can't it? First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to need action ability, and I want Ray to pump that up. Pile into me. That's fine. That's not a problem. I can live with that. Right, I've now got three. Uh, that's got a shield on it. So I'm going to bring out Yoda. Five yikes! Uh, okay, I can still I can still attack, and I will still attack. Let's get a couple of damage on the base. Something to do. Oh, you absolute arse! Didn't enjoy that at all. Right, choose one card to resource. Um, right, so force throw is useful because I've got Yoda out. Right, I've got another Yoda here. Do I need another Yoda in my hand? I don't think I do, so that can go down there. Okay. First thing to do, action ability. Let's make Yoda bigger and badder. That's a bigger, badder, better Yoda for you, that is. Okay. Let's play a card and let's put that on there. Uh, well, that's not going to work, is it? Because I've got Luke Skywalker. Oh, Syndicate Lackey is a great card. Ouch. Fortunately, I survived. Good thing I dropped that lightsaber on him, eh? Yep, I have a bit of restore. Thank you very much. Oh, well. That I would rather you hadn't have done, but never mind. Still a laugh, isn't it? Let's draw a card. <laughs> no, I'm not going to have them draw a card. They can do one. Okay, five. I've still got two left, so let's play a card. Let's bring him out. Can't pump him up. Loses Sentinel. For... Okay, yeah, that one loses Sentinel. Like you had Sentinel to start with, I ask you. Right. Play a card. One. I can play force throw, and I can play force throw, but it won't work because I haven't got a force unit. Uh, I know it won't work because I did that on a previous playtest. Right. Let's move on. Infiltrator skill. Oh, lovely. We like that. 
Uh, right, so takedown will defeat a unit with five or less remaining HP. What's Han got? He's got six. Okay, that's annoying. Um, that's got a shield on it. Right, so the first thing to do, we need to drop something down. I'm going to get rid of that because I've got two of them. Okay, we've got Ray. That's good. Going to attack. Thought you might. All right, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to use Ray's action ability to pump up the jam on here. Out comes Hans Silly. Uh, then I'm going to, because I can't get rid of it, I'll need six to use that on Han. But what I'm going to do. What's he? He's a 3-4 at the moment, so I'm going to play a card to put that on him. So Han can't kill it. He's probably going to hit the base anyway. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Then, what's going to do me the most use? I think bringing out this fella. No. DJ, don't like DJ. Uh, then... Put that into there. Do a bit of damage, which is nice. Oh, got rid of my force throw. Okay, fair enough. Action ability. Let's bring Ray out. Okay, so now we can do a bit of attacking. So I'm going to attack with Ray into there. I'm going to restore three, and I'm going to give the experience to Ray to make her more powerful. Then I'm going to pass. Okay, I'm going to draw. I'm not worried about space at this exact moment. I think it's going to be on the ground. So there we go. Going to attack with Han. Oh, no. Going to attack with DJ. That was an odd thing to do. I would have attacked with um, Han. Never mind. Because now you can't. Four. Mm, shield comes off. Nasty. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. I'm going to attack with Ray into there. I'm going to restore Ray, uh, the base for three, and then I'm going to give two to him. Okay. Annoying, but not the end of the world. Uh, because play a card. Let's put that on there. There it comes tech, right? Everything he's got now has smuggle. But I think in the race to the finish, he's going to be in trouble. Personally. I'd say this is pretty much... Ooh, Obi-Wan can I... Oh, I've got to deploy Obi-Wan. Oh, but I just... Oh. <laughs> I really want... Oh, I want to keep on... I want to keep on playing, but... Two on him. Thanks for that. That is brilliant. So you've just pumped him up. Well, I need to do four damage... And that, said Dad, was that. So there you go. Um, quick and easy deck to put together. A little bit of wriggle room on the on the prize for you. So you can drop in uh, one of those units that we had to had to take out, or indeed something else that, that you fancy. Cheap decks, great fun. That's that's the way I like them. That's the way I like to play them. If you enjoyed this, please let me know. Hit like, uh, give me a comment. What what would you have changed? What do you think should have been in this deck? Uh, and if you've got any ideas for any future deck techs, please let us know. Uh, for old boys, new toys, I'm Mr. Jeff. Thanks for watching. Bye.